So let us begin our uh, session by solving a model question paper. So in this session, we shall solve the first section, section A, which contains 20 marks. And here all the questions are compulsory. Okay. So let us begin with the multiple choice questions. Now, the first one is who is the father of statistics? So if you go by uh, the definition of modern statistics, then the correct answer here is R.A. Fisher. So R.A. Fisher is called as the father of modern statistics. Next. Second one is classification on the basis of attribute is called. It is called as qualitative classification. Because classification on the basis of area location is called geographical classification. If the classification is based on time, it is called chronology. If the classification is based on variables, then it is called as quantitative. And the classification on the basis of attribute is called as qualitative. The geometric mean of 1 and 4 is, so you can simply take here root of A into B, that is root of 1 into 4. So, 4 into 1 is 4, root of 4 is 2, the answer is 2. Next, if A and B are two mutually exclusive and exhaustive events and probability of A is 0 0.6, then probability of B is equal to, so uh, your A and B are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events and your probability of A is 0 0.6. So, your probability of uh, A union B will be is equal to 1 here. So, 1 is equal to 0 0.6 plus probability of B which is, so if you take 0 0.6 this side, this will be 1 minus 0 0.6 which is 0 0.4 and your correct answer is 0 0.4. Next. Fifth question, if expected value of x is equal to 6, then expected value of 2x. Okay, so let me solve it here. So, expected value of ax. Okay, so expect, expected value of ax is equal to a into expected value of x. So, expected value of 2x is equal to expected value of uh, 2 into expected value of x. So, the right answer here is 12. Okay. So, these are your multiple choice questions. Next is fill in the blanks. Okay. So, let us concentrate on the fill in the blanks part here. First one is, what is the, the added up frequency? are called as so the added up frequencies are called as cumulative frequency so the correct answer here is cumulative frequency okay the measures which divide a data into four equal parts are called as quartiles so they are your quartiles okay for a mesocortic distribution the value of beta 2 is so for a mesocortic distribution so, mesocortic means the curve is neither too peaked nor it is too flat. So, it is equal to 3. Next, that is this one. Probability of A is 0 0.7. Then, what is probability of A dash? So, probability of A plus probability of A dash will be equal to 1. So, if you are 0 0.7, this is 0 0.7. So, take it this side. So, 1 minus 0 0.7 is equal to probability of a dash that is 0 0.3 will be the answer. Next, what is the value of variance of 3? So, variance of a constant is equal to 0. Therefore, variance of 3, the answer is 0. Okay. So, these are the respective answers for the fill in the blanks. So, to understand them, you can uh, rewind the video and repeat them once again. Okay. Now, the next part here is match the following. Okay, so what do you mean by absolute error? So, absolute error, the definition of absolute error says the difference between the actual value and the estimated value. So, the correct answer here is this option, option number 5. In front of that, I will be writing the number here. Next, pie chart. What is a pie chart? Pie chart is a two dimensional diagram. One dimensional diagrams are your bar diagrams and pie chart is your two dimensional diagram. Next, 
mode so mode if you see here the correct answer is this one because the empirical relationship between mean median and mode is mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean that is for a distribution if you already know median and mean then you can calculate the value of mode using these two values as such 3 into median minus 2 into mean next <clears throat> interquartile range so interquartile range means what do you mean by range range is the difference between highest value and the lowest value so here we have three quartiles q3 q2 and q1 q3 is the upper quartile and q2 q1 is the lower quartile so q3 minus q1 would be the correct answer next the probability of a sure event so for a sure event the probability is always 1 if it was a null event here it could have been 0 okay so this is your match the following now coming to the last section here so coming to the last section here we shall look at them these are one mark questions and here you can uh, write them in one word or one sentence which graph is used to locate median so for median the graph that we use is ogives or cumulative frequency curves okay 13th question is for a data if d5 is equal to 40 write the value of p50 so your fifth decile is equal to median is equal to second quartile is equal to fifth decile that is also equal to 50th percentile so that is equal to 40 therefore if fifth decile is 40 then 50th percentile will also be 40 the answer is 40 if variance is equal to 25 find standard deviation so standard deviation is equal to root of variance so root of 25 is equal to 5 is the answer next what is meant by interpolation so uh, here you have two variables x and y suppose say x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable so the estimation of the value of dependent variable for a given value of independent variable within the range for example if your x value is from x0, x1, so on up till x10 and your y value is also y0, y1, so on up till y10 and one of the value is missing say fifth value of x is missing or for fifth value of x the y value is missing. So estimating that value is called as interpolation or within the range. Okay. And last one is define continuous random variable. What do you mean by a random variable here? Random variable is a function that assigns number a real number to every outcome in the sample space now there are two random variables discrete and continuous discrete is the one where you the variable assumes whole values 0 1 2 3 4 and so on continuous random variable means uh, in a given range this vari variable will assume all possible values such a variable is called as a continuous random variable okay so this is your complete description of section a in the next video we shall solve the section b thank you